And hello there everyone and welcome back for another video. This video is a review style video of this. This is the Nerf Modulus Regulator. Super happy to finally have the regulator. It finally became available by me over here um, on the coast. So super happy with the blaster. Um, we're going to go over its features first. First off, as many of you know, this is a uh, full auto, three round burst, and single fire blaster, so select fire. I love this blaster so much. I got it this weekend. The day it came out at my target, I ran in, saw it sitting there, and I bought one. Uh, super cool. Comes with a lot of stuff. Comes with three barrel attachments or scopes, because I guess they think you can use this as a scope. Not really, but that's cool. So the first attachment here, man, they make them tight now. This is the one barrel extension. Very nice. Again, top rail to the bottom rail so you can slide it on there. They make that very tight on these so they don't fall off. Um, or it's just another barrel extension. The other barrel extension here kind of looks like a front barrel, but again, attachment mech, and then the other one down here, so you could technically link blasters together. So, or we can show it here. Let's see if I can show it with the retaliator. I don't know if it will work because of the way the retaliator's rail is. Kind of, sort of? Nah. But in theory, you can link blasters together. I don't know if they thought about this and were like, hey, that sounds like a good idea, or they just chose to do it, but you can link blasters together of certain sizes. So that's really cool, and that's something I really like about this uh, these style attachments, is they do work so you can attach stuff together. But this, again, two ends and the rail attachment there, so you can use it as a scope. And then the front carry handle, which I don't know why they included that, but again, just another barrel attachment with the scope up top to line up. Usually, it's kind of funny because it most of the time lines up with your top optic per se, so you can look all the way through the actual uh, sight line, which is kind of cool. Uh, but it doubles as a carry handle and a barrel attachment, so. Love the modulus, uh, the modular attachments. They're becoming really cool. But down to the base blaster here. We're going to focus on the stock first. It is a magazine carrying stock. A proper magazine carrying stock. It, uh, if I can get it in there right. Holds it well. It doesn't just fall out. And it doesn't collapse. It's none of that wimpy little um, small bars of plastic. This is steady full ABS plastic and it feels great. Plus it holds a magazine. We don't have many Nerf mags or uh, Nerf magazine holding stocks that work properly unless they're modified. So the actual blaster itself, the front barrel attachment so you can put on anything. I think it looks really good with the uh, suppressor style on there. Just a personal thing. Uh, rail on the bottom for foregrip. Sling point here magazine well right here we'll get to where the magazine uh, releases and then your jam door up here for your conveyor belt as you can see there your top rail which is super nice another sling point um, right by your uh, your ammo counter quote unquote your selector switch which is single three round burst or full auto I usually keep it on single for now uh, this is your mag release, so instead of it being here, so you can flip it with your off finger, you got to bring it forward with your firing finger, finger to go ahead and then change your magazine. So, a little out of place, but I've gotten used to it through, with the around 150 uh, rounds I've shot through it so far. It's just a normal thing to pull and reload. Um, rev trigger, and then firing trigger. feeding issue there. I think that was just my error for not holding the trigger down. No. Alright, 
So that's one thing I have come to notice. As you can see this dart is kind of like up in the back. Just worn weird. Uh, what happens is because of the way the conveyor belt goes around, it just, it doesn't grab the dart if there's anything wrong with it. So make sure you use new darts. Same thing with the Hypervire. If it doesn't have new darts, sometimes it will just slip and it won't grab. It will kind of just pull the back of the dart up. So that one's bad over there in my trash can. But yeah, so the blaster itself is super nice. Um, so we're going to get into some features here. We're going to fire off the rest of this magazine, which we're going to go to three round burst and I'm just barely going to tap the trigger. So you can see I am now out of darts. The red light blinking means my magazine is completely empty. So cool feature that it lets you know that your mag is empty, not a quote unquote ammo counter per se, but a good way to know when you're out of darts and you have to pull from your stock or pull from a pouch, pull from anything, put a fresh mag in. So that's super nice. I love the stock, but we're going to get down to just the bare blaster. So the, um, the really cool part is the use of the selector switch. It's uh, you can go here, you can shoot full auto. If you have a good dart in there, or in that case, that dart was creased. We're not firing. Like, I don't have a lot of new darts unless I get them from Nerf. There we go. So that is one problem with the, uh, the regulator, at least that I'm finding anyway, is it's like half feeding a dart. into the uh, into the flywheels and then it just skips over it and shoves it back for no apparent reason it's not like it's like you, you, you can see that dart is like half into the flywheels and it just it just stops and it kills the dart it's completely done so you clear that and all right so jam is now cleared <clears throat> magazine See if we can go full auto this time, if it's going to cause problems. There we go. So that was complete full auto, and now our red blight is linking or blinking telling me to change out magazines, in which case we will just pop in one, so I don't have to sit here and look at the light blinking. But alright, I really like the select fire. I like the idea that it's a little bit bigger than it needs to be, but I understand why it is so big. Um, and it is super comfortable, like with the stock, it's super nice, but without the barrels, I don't, I love the modular attachments, but I don't like how long they are. You know, the blaster doesn't need to be this big. It's already this huge without a stock. I'm adding a stock because of how long the actual blaster is, but it's super nice to choke up on because my flywheels are right here, right here. I'm literally getting right out of the barrel performance, no drag like in a modulus. Uh, so this feels great. It's comfortable. I love the conveyor belt system. Uh, I just don't, it's a little finicky sometimes unless you have new darts. Uh, the select fire is great. Love the location of the magazine release. Super nice. Revving, pull out mag, switch. You can go back in. It's very convenient. It does feel weird on my trigger finger because it's not meant to do that. Usually I just hit it with my rev trigger, uh, my the finger I keep on my rev trigger, instead having to move my whole hand forward, feels a little weird, but it's quite comfortable. Um, the grip, very comfy. I love how they do the, the trigger well here, because, I mean, I don't know if they want you to use this as a foregrip, but I'm using the rail. That just feels better. But yeah, so overall, very positive review. I really like this thing. Uh, the rail location, is perfect for a uh, actual scope or your a barrel scope I think is what it's called um, not bad I like the location um, right in front of this does kind of get a little weird as you can see when I go to slide this on you gotta like bring it on top of that and it's got to line up right but this feels so weird because like this that's a good click like unless you pull you're not just you actually gotta like 
rip it off and smack it off for the attachments to come loose and I'm just guessing that's because it's not the um it's the new style uh nubbin as I'm calling it or the uh the the attachment piece for the rail it's not the one that's spring loaded it just doesn't move uh which is nice I mean it, those used to fall off all the time now we have the next generation in it so nice advancements super nice single fire dart super nice and again blinking but uh, overall, very positive review. I'm not a big fan of the extra attachments, but I like the stock. I like the carry handle, because I feel like that would be like really good uh, if you were building a, um, a Vulcan and you put a barrel attachment on it, so you had a second handle instead of the top one if that's too far. Uh, you could put it all the way up front. Uh, so I feel like that's really cool. I love how Nerf is getting more modular with their stuff, uh, kind of making it good for us modders who really like stocks that hold stuff. Now we don't have to go buy um, aftermarket ones I'd love if they would just sell attachments separately, kind of like they do on Amazon. Uh, I am a little disappointed though, because this is a 12 round magazine, but it's not translucent. There's no clear side. It's just full, full orange. A little upset about that, because when I saw it in the pack, I'm like, okay, cool, two 12 round magazines. I got them out, and like, they're different 12 round magazines. They're like the modulus uh, flip clip without the, uh, the little dots on the side to uh, clip them into that. but. Overall, really cool. This blaster takes uh, four C-sized batteries. Um, two again, that works the blaster, everything, red light. Understandable why they would do that. But yeah, so I really like the blaster. So my opinion, very positive. I like it a lot. Positives and negatives. Negative side is I, I can see a lot of people not liking this mag release. Uh, the way it has that feeding issue sometimes it just doesn't flip darts all the way in before i guess it cycles back through it's just not pushing them far enough uh might have been me letting go of the rev trigger too quick and it's very possible or letting go of the firing trigger wrong i guess anything's possible um but that is a downside for me because i did have that happen with my hyper fire a lot so i think it's the same thing uh i don't know for sure but love the um the select fire and this rev trigger design is great, and then the actual firing trigger looks great. But uh, that's the video, guys. That's the review of the Nerf Modulus Regulator. Wonderful blaster. Uh, definitely, guys, go pick it up. My local Target had it. Um, and it's great. It's comfy. feels great. And it's super smooth. And I can't wait to see what modifications people do to them. I know some are already out, but I'm totally waiting for someone to just take the internals and throw them in like a hyper fire or a rapid strike just to see what it would be in like a more conventional platform but thank you guys very much for watching like comment subscribe you don't have to but you could and uh go over and check out my instagram guys at rackets 96 lots of cool stuff going on over there um and i'll see you then peace out bros